The practice of declaring certain cities cultural capitals takes its roots from Europe when the Greek capital Athens was declared the cultural capital of Europe in 1985. Then this practice spread to other parts of the world. But there are cities that are universally recognised as cultural capitals on a permanent basis. St Petersburg, for example, is the cultural capital of Russia. One of the important centres of Azerbaijani culture, the city of Shusha, was occupied by the Armenian army in May 1992 during the war between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The inhabitants of the city were expelled, museums, cultural institutions, historical monuments were either plundered or completely destroyed and abandoned. For 30 years, the Conservatory of the Caucasus, as Shusha is called, was under occupation and only a couple of thousand settlers lived here in place of the 15,000 population that lived there before the occupation. For 30 years, Shusha ceased to be an important regional cultural centre and dropped out of the cultural life of the region. During the Second Karabakh War between Armenia and Azerbaijan on November 8, 2020, Shusha was liberated as a result of a unique military operation carried out by the Azerbaijani Special Forces. The works on restoration of the city began almost immediately after Shusha was liberated. During the restoration work, great attention is paid to the restoration of cultural and historical monuments. It is worth noticing that not only Azerbaijani monuments are being restored, but also monuments of the city's Christian heritage. On May 7, 2021, the president of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, signed a decree declaring the city of Shusha the cultural capital of Azerbaijan. On May 12, 2021, after almost 30 years of hiatus, the Hari Bulbul Music Festival, organized by the Haydar Aliyev Foundation, was held in Shusha. On August 30th, the Vagif Poetry Days were held in Shusha. It is worth noting that the Azerbaijani poet Mola Pana Vagif was the vizier of the Karabakh Khan, but he left his mark in history by his poetry. On the same day, President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Merhuban Aliva attended the opening ceremony of the restored Vagif Mausoleum. The mausoleum was built in 1982 and was damaged during the occupation. Within the framework of Poetry Days, the Haydar Aliyev Foundation organized exhibitions of paintings by Azerbaijani artists and Karabakh carpets in art galleries restored with the support of the foundation. It is noteworthy that the carpets shown in the exhibition were evacuated from Shusha shortly before the occupation of the city in 1992. All this time they were kept in Baku in the Azerbaijan Carpet Museum and now, almost 30 years later, the exhibits have returned back to Shusha. Also on August 30th, the opening after an extensive reconstruction of the House Museum of Bulbul a famous performer and of a new monument to the founder of the modern professional musical art of Azerbaijan, composer Uzir Hajubeli, took place. Both the house museum and the monument were destroyed during the occupation. Now, cultural life is returning to Shusha along with the residents of the city who were forced to leave it in May 1992. The pace and scale of the restoration and construction of the cultural capital of Azerbaijan are truly amazing. Considering the speed of restoration works and the fact that a new general plan of the city has already been created, it can be assumed that not only all cultural and historical sites of the city, but also houses, schools and administrative buildings will be restored within a few years.